good evening right saturday night 22nd of april i'm in my shed i'm just about to go start my pre-bake session on the bridgewater canal now i fished bridgewater canal for a long long time i've had some beautiful wild canal carp out of there and at the minute i'm in my shed just in the bait freezer some particle but I've got some particle out earlier this afternoon to defrost spin you around so there's a particle probably a kilo what I've done is I've souped that up with anything I can find in my shed any liquids any adjectives any attractions anything I can just to get a mass mass and mass of attraction and all I'll be doing is putting basically most of the bulk of it will be particle. But I have got a few boily, 10 mil boily, 15 mil boily, just a mix of them, just to get the fish accustomed to boily and particle going in. But the particle will be mainly the bulk process of it, just to clear them spots, get the bird life down there, get the swans, the ducks the fish, the bream, the silvers, whatever I can get in that area to clear the spots is all beneficial to me moving forward. There's my selfie fish to take with me and I'll be showing you that in a bit and I'll be blogging it while I'm down there. But for now that's the main main opening, the boily super boosted particles with whatever they can find and there's all sorts of that molasses there's um uh, what's it called marine 17 liquid from solar there's a bit of other stuff in it there's all sorts of it. anything that I can get into it just to give it that mass massive attraction is in that bag at the minute it's little bits not loads of it but I'll tell you what I'll do when I get down there I'll put the camera on again and I'll show you my pre-baiting. This will be the first instalment. I was probably obviously doing it every night or maybe every two nights. I'll just keep it going that baiting for the next, I don't know, four weeks. I won't be fishing for another month yet. Just create them spots, clear them spots and get fish accustomed to them. So I'll leave you there now and I'll catch you down there when I'm on the bank. So good evening, sorry I couldn't, I'm walking back, I couldn't blog spots, there's too many people about, but I've waited till they're gone and I've dropped some bait in on a couple of, well, three spots, but I had to do it in intervals when there's been no people about, so this is like a, a short one really. But I'm sure there'll be another opportunity where I can vlog it for you where I'm dropping the baits. But for the minute I was just couldn't do it. It was just so many people, dog walkers and bikers and one thing of it's about nine o'clock actually. I was quite surprised with so many people about. Sorry for the shake, I'm actually walking. Put the rucksack on the back. Plain quick and simple. Down there, camo cap on, so they can't see me, but they actually see me. So, I'll catch up with you on another wreck here, another pre baiting session. For now, this is the first part of the canal carp sessions. Um, is what it is, isn't it? You have to do it incognito, but um, I'm heading back home now and 
Zelf die oom van zijn eerste hand, hé. Dat is een en van zijn pimpel. Zeker, people have you uh, shocked? It's not even um, cars of milk. Terrible nights for pre being I've got some in anyway, I've got the spots primed for the first one, so that'll do me for tonight. It's Saturday night, like I said previously, so but we'll do another tomorrow night. Can't do it Monday on nights in work. Don't know about Tuesday, Wednesday next week. I think I'm away fishing, so that'll be vlogged and all. And another separate one, so I'll leave you there for now. Thanks for watching. Join me on this journey of canal carping. It's not easy, it's a challenge. Anybody that fishes for canal carp, you know the challenge is it holds. So thanks for watching, and I'll catch you on the next one. Bye for now.